Yo, what is up boys? The Triple Elixir Royal Tournament has just started and I want to show you the 5 best decks in this specific meta for the Royal Tournament. So let's jump straight into the first game and we are playing the one of the two best decks I feel like uh, for Triple Elixir and it's Lava with Lightning and Poison. It's just such a good and solid deck. I think that uh, it's probably the most played one. Everyone literally plays this deck. It's so solid on defense. You have such strong offense, like you can see right here even, our open can literally do nothing about what we're doing right here. We can even go for another lava in the other lane and our opponent will be already struggling so much to defend here. Um, we can definitely poison there, tombstone here, last second. <laughs> We have barbs, uh, just to make it clear, um, there are no evolutions here, so that's why the meta is completely different compared to what you see on ladder. It's like a completely different thing. <laughs> it, like, the meta right now in Clash Royale is what it is because of Evo Firecracker, Evo Knight, etc, etc. So, as soon as you remove those, everything changes, which is kind of funny in itself. Let me lightning here, just take care of that bullshit, don't want to deal with it. Low tombstone. Um, we should be able to deal with the deck we are playing against pretty easily. Uh, it will take a while because Firecracker and Ewits are pretty annoying to deal with, but we should be able to do pretty nicely against it. We have... Oh no, that's bad. Uh, let Just let me take care of it. I don't want to think about it later on. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's not ideal. I would rather you not do that. Just arrow it. Nice. We are still winning. As, as you can see, we are struggling a little bit because um, that, that's what P.E.K.K.A. bridge spam is. It's just an annoying thing to deal with. Uh, constant spam and you can't really make a decent push. Oh no, that's that broke through. Frick. My god, I hate the fire crack. <laughs> I hate it so much. And it survived. Obviously it survived. Let me go for lightning here. And yeah, with this deck, basically, you deal more damage with spells rather than anything else. <laughs> because you have lightning and poison, so you just... I didn't want to play that, I didn't want to play that, I didn't want to play that! Oh my god, it, it's getting sketchy. I think we should be still able to win, but it's getting sketchy, as I said. Let me... the baby... The, the, thank you, thank you. Let me... Tombstone, just arrow it, and I think we should be good to go. Hold up, let me see if he can. Will try. Yep, here it is. I knew he would do that, <gasps> and now he will try to pressure most probably. And we got the first win. It was way more difficult than it should have been. We are. It was like the first game, so I have no clue what why, why it was so difficult. Maybe our opponent was strong, but. His deck is not even like the best deck you could play. But yeah, ultimate champion player, so definitely a guy that knew how to play. Now, the second best deck, in my opinion, like those two are contestants for the best deck. I can't really say which one is better, but Lava and Graveyard are like the best options for this Royal Tournament. If you know how to play either Lava or Graveyard, play one of those two decks. I think those will like give the best results. Um... Other than that, there are a few other decks that can work, but um, and, and I will show them later on. But just uh, want to show those two first because they are just so good. Let me freeze that. I th I think freeze here is the play. Um, pretty annoying game, not gonna lie. Uh, it will be pretty annoying, yeah. Double tombstone already, uh, so much fun. But maybe we can get a decent freeze here. <laughs> Triple eye <laughs> <I> track. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what even is that? <laughs> okay, man. 
uh, interesting ability, not sure if I would have played it. But here Axie is our MVP, like literally. We, we need to rely very strongly on the Axie. It's our best card here, because our opponent doesn't have that good splash damage. He only has Baby D and Ice Wizard, which are not that good. So we, if we, if we abuse the Axie, we can probably win this game right, in, right here, in this way. Um, let me freeze there. Not sure if that's the play, but we need to get some damage in. And that's the triple elixir right here for you, man. <laughs> Fucking people spamming all the time. I mean, I'm not any different, obviously, but just saying it's so annoying and like probably one of the game modes I despise the most. Let me pressure here. I think that's the play. He goes for his own graveyard, but I think that we will be able to defend and he will not be able to do it. But we, because we can Nado, uh, and yeah, we are good. As I said, Axie is our MVP here. He just pressures really randomly. Right now, pressuring for him doesn't make any sense. I mean, I thought he gave up. That's why I played that graveyard, but okay. Uh, so yeah, I think we already won. If you take the tower, um, there is no way for your opponent to do anything else. We got the goblins for the graveyard as well, which are so good. Uh, so if you are planning on playing graveyard, you, you don't have to play freeze. Freeze is just really solid, but just play Xy. Xy in this game mode is so fucking broken. Like there is really no reason to not play it, <laughs> let's just say. So yeah, we are probably gonna be able to take a second crown and if this guy gave up, we would have taken a third one but he's not giving up. We can still maybe take it? Uh, no, uh, not at all. This guy was not planning on giving us the win here, unfortunately. For our third deck, if you don't quite enjoy playing Graveyard or Lava, you can also play Fireball Bait. It's a really solid option. I'm not that good of a play. I'm not that good of a Fireball Bait player, but it's a really solid deck. If you, if that's what you like playing, you got Mother Witch, which is um, really tough. Like it's a really solid card in this in, in Triple Elixir because it gets so much value, specifically on all of those graveyards. Uh, I'm playing this variation with Healer. I found it on Royal API, so that's why I'm playing it. But I can't even really say for sure why it's being played with healer. <laughs> if I had to guess, probably it's because um, it just gets out of value thanks to... Uh, wait. No, no, no. No! Oh, shame. Uh, it gets out of value because you can like get a few down on, on the field and Let's see if... No, 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 no. Okay, that away from the Mother Witch. Ah, I wanted to get those bats. So yeah, you can get a few healers down and you can just... <laughs> I can't talk, I swear. <laughs> you can get a few down and just out heal your opponent every time because you get so many. Unfortunately, here it didn't work as expected. But yeah, he pressures. Fair enough for him. Uh, but we have two flying machines which will take care of the Sparky. Unfortunately, we don't hit the Firecracker, but look at the healer. And the pigs are being tanked for by the healer, so that's so great. Uh, we need a flying machine down for sure. Uh, Fisherman. Here we go, he goes for his goblin giant. Um, let's heal up the zappies. Okay. Nice. Kite that away. Um, just giant skelly there. I, if I had to guess, that's probably the play. Fisherman is so fucking OP. Like, actually, it's crazy how good it is. Another flying machine. Let me tank for the Zappies. I, I want to keep them alive. Just shoot the Sparky! Nice. And now we can pressure. That's the perfect opportunity. 
The flying machine will take the tower, will take out also the Sparky. Nice, and only with only 10 seconds remaining, this guy never really got the opportunity to take my tower. Really solid defense with this deck. As I said, if you know how to play it, I don't know how to play it. I'm, I'm really trash at it, but we still got the win, so that's what matters. Definitely solid option. Uh, make sure to stack Giant Skellies with healers behind and you will get just you, you will just overwhelm your opponents. And there is just no really lightning value in this deck. Uh, so everyone almost runs lightning and here you are not giving lightning value to your opponents. And the healer can also outheal the poison. Probably that's why you have it. You can keep your zappies, flying machines and mother witches alive with the healer. So that's probably the plan now that I think about it. Next deck, we have this bait deck if you are into bait it's also an option i'm no bait player i'm no riley but bait is definitely a deck you can play you got inferno tower if you prefer to run tesla you can do it but inferno tower just gives you that um, added layer of security when playing against all the lava hounds as i said lava hound is played really 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 a lot so it's really good having a inferno tower and the reason why bait is quite good is because um nice um people don't really run small spells now these guys playing arrows <laughs> okay that's an exception but most often people in triple elixir play only lightning and poison so having goblin barrel goblin gang you really just overwhelm your opponents. Usually that's what happens. Now we are playing against a mid ladder deck, so that's why we are struggling a little bit. He's still giving us quite a lot of value poison every single time. So we are literally chilling. Let me go something like this. Um, he arrows, fine with it. High Inferno Tower, okay. Still completely fine, he fireballs, it's not like I, it, it matters that much. Yeah, you, he has quite a lot of spells which is pretty annoying because he has both arrows and fireball which usually doesn't happen, I have to say, uh, from experience, I mean maybe the meta changed but <laughs> usually triple elixir decks are almost always the same. Yeah, he always got these fucking arrows, pretty annoying but um, what can you do about it? We are still chipping him down with all the poisons and we have a quicker cycle than this guy so um, he cannot like keep up with our pace to be honest i have to stop playing princesses on the bridge <laughs> it's not working man <laughs> what are <laughs> I, i'm yes i i'm referring to myself as man uh shh, don't think about it uh let me go for inferno tower just kite this here, freeze the mini P.E.K.K.A. Make sure to always have a princess down because that's the most annoying part. Th that's what you want to do with bait. You probably watched Riley videos and all of it. You, you all know how to play bait better than me, so I'm not gonna be sitting here explaining to you how to play it. Just make sure to have always a princess down, specifically in this triple el elixir mode. You can really have like uh, two or even three princesses down at all times specifically when playing against those really heavy decks you also got goblin gang and poison um instead of log and yeah you have rocket and poison instead of uh log and rocket because uh why would you play small spells uh but you also got poison for graveyard you got goblin gang for graveyard like it's a really solid deck overall and now as for the last deck we have this Meganite Bridge Spam deck, also a really solid option, uh, probably the one I would play last out of all this I showed you today, uh, also because I'm kinda bad at Meganite Bridge Spam, but also just because it, I don't really find it that efficient, it's me not being good with it, and also that's a kind of a bad matchup, right from the start I can tell. like. How is it even possible that we're playing against E-Giant? That usually doesn't happen. Uh, okay, that, now I actually need to focus. Fuck. <laughs> That's not something you, <laughs> you like to do usually. 
I, I prefer to chill and like uh, at least in the first few games. But here I think no, no, no. That's bad. That's really bad. That's a, that's a game we may lose. Like actually, um, what are we supposed to do? It's just really, really difficult to do anything here. It's like one of the worst matchups we could have faced, and I think we are losing it. Uh, yep, there's just nothing we can do. <laughs> Fuck sake! <laughs> I, I, I really would like to tell you there is something you can do in this situation, but you really can't. Um, I have no DPS in this deck, and he just has Musketeer and fucking Ewids, and yeah, that's all it is. Really interesting Nado. Um, we can still try, but I really don't think we can do anything. Uh, this deck is not really thought to be played against E Giant, let's just say. The, 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 you can see it for yourself. Like, you got no DPS. Mega Knight is not a DPS card, but nobody plays E Giant. The, e Giant is not a card that is being played in this game mode, so. Yeah, you can just cry and suffer when playing against something like that. That's just how it is sometimes. Um, we dealt quite a lot of damage, not gonna lie, but I still don't think it's nearly enough. Um, let me try going for a Lumberjack there. Another Mega Knight, I guess. Uh, he'll probably go for E Giant to take care of all of that. Bandit connects, nice. Let me. Oh, oh my god, we are actually overwhelming him. We are actually overwhelming him, guys. <laughs> guys! <laughs> guys! <laughs> we are actually overwhelming him! No way! We actually won. I cannot believe this. I I had given up at the start because it was such a difficult matchup. Like, I have nothing against the e Giant, and like, he had Lightning, he had Nado, he had fucking Ewits for my Ram Rider, he had Double Prince, which is so difficult to deal with with the Mega Knight. So, I have no clue how we won, but we did win, so yeah. This deck is solid, trust me. It's it, it works. I would not play it myself, but there is people having really great success with it. So uh, the first two specifically are like the best decks you could play. Uh, specifically in the first few 10, 15 um, wins, they are just really, really solid and reliable. You can win almost any matchup with them. So hope you enjoyed uh, if you have any other decks that you think I miss, you can leave them in the comments. And this is everything for me. I will see you tomorrow. Uh, I wish you good luck in the Royal Tournament and a great day. See you soon. Bye.